Hey guys, what is up? Welcome. Today we look at Michael Essien. Before I start this review, I want to say this guy, I bought him quite cheap actually for just under 700k and I sold him today for 770k. So I made money. This guy's going to get a plus already. Like when I bought this guy, I was thinking this guy looks a lot like Conte, but more better. And oh my god, this guy is a beast. Like, I wouldn't like to play when this guy's on the opposition side. I don't know what this guy eats or what he's taking, but he plays like a... He is a beast. Like, oh my god. This guy is a fantastic, fantastic central midfielder. Now, before I start the review, I want to give you some advice. Do not play this guy as a CDM. I know he's got some ridiculous CDM capabilities. The way he intercepts is ridiculous. His tackling is amazing. His physicality is something else. Like this guy trumps, he trumps any CDM that I've ever played with besides Vieira. He's definitely the second best CDM I've ever used, but do not use him as a CDM. And the reason why I'm saying this is because he's got high, high work rates, which means he likes to bump forward. He loves to run forward and score goals. Now, one thing I loved about this card was his interceptions, man. This guy, he doesn't let you play FIFA. Like, let's say, for example, you want to play Tiki Taki Barcelona. Uh, uh, now an Essien's on the pitch. And, oh, man, this guy can shoot. Like, I watched a clip before I bought him, like, one of my nephews is called Faraz Abid, and I love him dearly. And he said that he wanted to try Essien. I was like, okay, okay, we'll try him. I said, who is this Michael Essien? Because I didn't really watch him. I heard of him. Like, I don't get it. Like, he's got 83 pace, and he just caught the Pepe. Took the ball of Pepe and said, you're not worth 80 million. This guy, he disrespects people, man. He's too good in this game. Like, jokes aside, I watched this guy. He scored an insane long shot. So then I started, uh, I need to get into the box so I can take a long shot. But I have to say, there's not much wrong about this card. Interceptions, one of the best in the game. One of the best I've ever seen. Tackling, superb. I know height isn't the best, but I'm telling you something. He gets into these little spaces and you just see him, like, he just comes and runs after you and takes the ball off you and then he'll chuck you on the floor. And his dribbling and ball control is amazing. Not only that, he's got a very, very good shot on him. Like, I don't know why he says 61 finishing. That is ridiculous or something. He's got a lot better than... He's got a lot better finishing than what he says on his card because I tell you one thing, when he gets into the box... You need to save uh, an unbelievable shot from him because I tell you what, his shot is incredible. And also, I love his work rates. High, high. He loves getting up forward. And I kind of like that because when he shoots, it's exciting. Wow, what a card. Honestly, what a card. Unbelievable. Now, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I was surprised with a lot of things about him. His pace is brilliant. Don't get me wrong. 83 pace, fantastic. You don't have to add to that. His passing is really good. His interceptions, fantastic. His playmaking and his positioning was something that I really liked. Like, don't get, don't get me wrong, he'll position himself already to intercept the ball. You don't have to do much. It's like his de defense awareness is really, really good. He, he was honestly, jokes aside, someone I really enjoyed playing with, Essien. And you know what? I can't wait till his prime card comes out or prime moments. I want to know what that can do because surely, jokes this idea, that can't be far off from any player. Like, any central midfielder in this game, like, he is insane. Now, I know he isn't. Look at that interception. Look how far he went. I'm watching this guy play and I'm thinking, who is this guy? Like, he was just a total beast if you want a beast in the mid prior i would have gone for roy Keane, but now you've got michael essien now michael essien has to fit the bill of of being a beast in that midfield i can't fault this card the guy wins headers as well don't get me wrong i think he's five foot ten or something but he still wins headers honestly he is amazing and every single goal like he contributed to that 
Like he'd either intercept or tackle or pass or do something. He was involved with almost everything good that happened in the team. And if I lost, it was definitely not his fault. It's just the opponents, they play on the other side. So if Essien's on the left, they'll, they'll, they'll play on the right. <laughs> He's that scary, man. The guy is intimidating. I'm telling you now, he is intimidating. Leroy, Leroy Sane as well, you know, having him in the team as well. He was lightning quick. He, he was a really good addition to the team. Man, I tell you, Michael Essien though. Wow, what a card. What a card. Amazing. He is quite expensive at 770k, which is what people are paying for him. People prefer him, the baby card, over the mid. Because the mid's only got 77 pace. But yeah, fantastic, fantastic card. Seriously passing, intercepting. He did everything that I expected. He was super strong, super aggressive. Fight, he'll fight with you if you want. If you want to fight, Michael Eshian ain't going to quit. He, he will bang you out. He, he is fantastic. I wish he was a bit taller so he could win more headers against taller people. But 9.7 out of 10.